Hey guys, TJ here with American Renovation. In this segment, we're going to cover what used to be a koi pond. We're going to get these rocks out of the way. Take a look at this perimeter. It's got a rubber membrane on the foundation. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drill some rebar right into it with some epoxy. We're going to put a wire mesh down on the floor, pour some concrete. We're going to come just shy of what the flooring finish is. At this point, once it's all set, we're going to go ahead and finish it with some tile and it's going to look sharp. We got the stones out of the way. The next step is to prep it for concrete. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some holes into the foundation and I'm going to put some rebar. Once I got the rebar in there, I'm going to put a wire mesh and it's ready for concrete. All right, now that I have a hole drilled into the foundation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and test my rebar, make sure it fits in there at the height I want roughly. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and clean out the hole before I put the epoxy and set the rebar in there. You're going to want to hold it for a little bit until it sets. Once that's all set, I'm going to put the wire mesh on top and start pouring concrete. This is going to get us at about the height we want. So we want to be about an inch lower than the finish so that we can put our thin set and our tile and compensate, make sure that this is flush with the existing flooring. Now that I got all the holes drilled on the perimeter, what I want to do is make sure it's completely dust free. So here we got a bristle right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stick this in here and pull it out. And it asks for you to do it four times. So three, four. I'm going to go ahead and back it up. So I'll go ahead and do that to all of them, make sure they're dust free. Once they are, I'm going to use the Simpson XP, stick it in there, put the rebar in there, and that's going to set the rebar. I'm going to be sore tonight, that's for sure. I'm going to need a protein shake after this workout. I got 30 bags of concrete. At 90 pounds a bag, this ain't no joke. At this point, I'm going to wait 24 hours before I begin working on it. Take a look, you're going to see some residue on the walls and windows. We're going to go ahead and wipe those off once this is cured. At this point, we're all set, wait for it to cure, and then we're going to go and begin tiling. This used to be the koi pond right here. As you can see, it's tiled down and it's at the same level as the existing flooring. We ended up having to pour concrete, removing all the uh, rocks that used to be in here, bringing it to a set height 
we use the laser to get the height and we smoothen out the concrete put new base molding and some trim and uh, it looks sharp clients are happy and until next time happy renovation